The multi-billion dollar garbage and junk business has a new player and he delivers. Mike Hagedis has finally started picking up after himself and he joins us now. Michael? Let's go back to that salary raise thing. Uh, <laughs> does that go here too? Yeah. Okay. Right upstairs after this. Mark, funny things can happen while you're waiting at the drive through window, and in Brian Scudamore's case, it turned out to be an inspirational experience. You say you have a garage basement or attic overflowing with stuff, junk, garbage? Well, booby, fear not. Relief is just an 800 number away. Brian Scudamore is many things. A CEO, a high school dropout, a hamburger eater. Got the idea, was in a McDonald's drive through and saw this beat up old pickup in front of me that said Mark's hauling on the side, and I thought, hey, Got $1,000 in the bank, go buy myself a pickup truck and start hauling junk. Which he did, except that Scudamore turned one pickup full of trash into... Hi, Wella, this is Roland calling you back from 1-800-GOT-JUNK. A multi-million dollar business, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, which is exactly what it says. You got trash the garbage man won't touch? Relief is just a phone call away in over 100 franchise locations across the U.S. and Canada. Our goal by the end of 2006, 100 million in system-wide sales with 250 franchise partners. Did you ever think you'd be in the junk business? Uh, never, never. I <laughs> uh, spent 22 years in a high-tech industry, and uh, here I am. But Pat Towhill is the franchise holder in the Tampa, Florida area. An investor buys a house and he wants it completely cleaned out. We'll go in and do a whole house clean out for that investor. Jeff Hill has the east side of Seattle, Washington, the Bellevue and Redmond Absolutely. regions. The average um, family is a dual income family. Um, they're at a certain economic status to where they can afford the service. Um, not a lot of pickup owners on the east side. Our time is pretty precious. We both travel, we both work a lot, and uh, we don't have a pickup truck, so. Uh, we need uh, someone to help us out and get some things out of our garage so we can get our cars in there. Customers pay by the eighth of a load. A full truck goes for about 440 bucks. A franchise is awarded by population, 250,000 people per. And should we call it the same number that I've used to reach you, Kathy? The call center and corporate headquarters are in Vancouver, Canada. Majority of the franchises are in the U.S. And while there are plenty of cities and towns that will haul away anything you want to push to the curb, there are plenty of those that won't or have restrictions. Wouldn't it be cheaper for me just to push it to the curb? Sure. You know, it's one of those things, though. Wouldn't it be cheaper for you to paint your own house? Why do you hire a painter to paint your own house? You're busy. You value your time. You don't want to deal with the hassle. Same thing. We get plenty of customers that own their own pickups. They don't want to mess up their pickups. They don't want to scratch the bed of the pickup. They'd rather have us come haul it away. Brian Scudamore is many things, soon to be one more. You're going to be sort of the prince of junk here. The prince, the king, definitely. I'm the junk man. The king of junk. The franchise fee for 1-800-GOT-JUNK is about 18,000 bucks. And so far, Scudamore figures they've picked up 75 to 100 million tons of trash. You'd use your own pickup truck. You, you betcha. All right. Now they sent, listen, when you take the garbage out from now on, All right. you've got your own 1 800 oh, got junk coat. I, needing an excuse to get this out of my garage after seven years, <laughs> have decided to bring it in and give it to you. No, so you why? can put it in your garage. So now you can call 1 800 got junk. I've had this thing sitting around and I've been looking for one reason to bring it to you. So there it is. However, here is the best part I of like this whole this. gig. For some reason, when I opened up the package, of what these package? coats, the package that these coats yeah. came in, these were also in there. Coming up. Would you like one? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you tell them the guest host about the guest host wearing the fry rig? Coming up later on Squawk. Will the first quarter GDP come in so strong it spurs rate hike fears? I am tempted. You should. The first Just for quarter five GDP report is out at 8.30 Eastern time. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, what the hell. Yeah. There we go.